I had a prednisone warrior reach out and ask, how long do these mental symptoms last after stopping prednisone? So I'm going to read his email and then I'm going to give you my response. Okay. So he said, I took seven and a half milligrams prednisone daily from a doctor. One week later, I'm now experiencing severe brain fog, loss of sense of reality. I cannot discern which is real and which is not. My thinking and my mind feels very blurry and hazy to the point that I feel psychotic. I'm having deliriums and visual hallucinations. The mental side effects are comparable to a marijuana high or some psychedelics recreational drug. All of these are happening for three days now, persisting all day. I've stopped prednisone three days ago, but the mental side effects listed above still continue and actually got worse. First, it was just as insomnia and lots of energy, able to sleep for only three to four hours and then brain fog. And now my mind or thinking is fully dissociated from reality. I feel like I'm in a dream or dreaming despite being awake. Sometimes I hallucinate while awake. It's freaky. I'm a lucid dreamer. I know I'm dreaming, so I'm having a severe foggy thinking while awake. I mean, fully aware of it gives me panic attacks. Upon researching, I found out that prednisone causes steroid psychosis, and many people who took prednisone experienced the same thing. They all recovered from stopping prednisone and taking anti-psych meds to control it and eventually get rid of the foggy thinking hallucinations. I take alprazolam to relieve the panic attacks the prednisone mental side effects are giving me. But what I need are antipsychotics, as I have found that those meds are used to manage steroid psychosis from prednisone. I have a virtual appointment with my psychiatrist and I will tell her about my mental symptoms so she can give me antipsychotic meds to relieve the severe loss of sense of reality from the prednisone. I feel literally insane, like I'm one step away from being a mental hospital patient. How long do these mental symptoms last after stopping prednisone? I don't want another week being psychotic, no sense of reality and saying things that aren't there. It's scary. So first I wanted to say, I'm impressed that this person has the sense of seeing what's going on because often when people get steroid psychosis, they're so disconnected from reality, they can't even like see the forest for the trees. And so this is great that you can tell that you are going through this and that you're seeking help because often people going through this don't know what's happening and don't know that it's being caused by the drug and don't seek help. And so that's the number one thing I recommend is stay in close contact with your doctor, the doctor who prescribed it. And if you need to a mental health doctor, and I'm so sorry to hear about these horrible symptoms you're going through. Steroid psychosis is real. It's, it's an actual diagnosis code that your doctor can put in. And it's, it's not made up. This is a legitimate side effect of prednisone and other steroids. And it's not for the faint of heart. It is not to be taken lightly. It's very serious. And people have ended up doing really horrible things while experiencing steroid psychosis that they regret later. And so if you have the sense of mind to realize what's going on, then I would get help immediately. Um, I would not wait. You could even check yourself into the emergency room and say, I need help now because you don't want to do things to your finances that you're going to regret later. You don't want to do things to your relationships you're going to regret later. You don't want to like drive off the side of the road because you're not realizing what's going on. So my advice is if you're having symptoms this severe, get help immediately. Don't wait until your appointment in the future. Just go straight to the emergency room and get the help you need. If you're that close to calling yourself a psych unit patient, then that's close enough. Get the help you need now. And it sounds like you already know exactly what you need. Antipsychotic medications can definitely help with these symptoms. And your real question is, how long will it last? And that's a really tricky question to answer because steroid psychosis is not well studied. It's a very rare side effect. It doesn't happen to everyone. It happens very rarely, but often enough that it has its own diagnosis code. And so if this is happening to you, I can't predict how long it's going to last. It could be just a few more days, could be a few weeks, could be a few months. I have no idea. There is a book someone wrote about his experience dealing with this, and it's called Steroids Stole My Summer. And I interviewed the author. And so I'd recommend you check out that video interview all about steroids stole my summer and 
either listen to the audiobook or download the ebook because I personally listened to it and it was really excellent. It talks about the symptoms, what you can do, what you can expect based on this one person's experience. So that's where I would go next. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.